Hey gang, Scott Davenport here and welcome to In The Field. Thanks for joining me today. If this is the first time you're checking out my channel, thanks for giving me a shot. I hope you like what you see and you will subscribe. Today I'm uh, going to the beaches of San Diego and here's the thing, if you're not uh, from the San Diego area, we have this uh, season, I, I guess I'll call it, in May and June. Skies are really overcast most of the day. Uh, we call it May Gray and June Gloom. And that was in full effect on this visit I made to the shores of La Jolla. Did the best that I could and worked with what I had. And I think I came away with something that uh, I'll be able to you know, do something nice with in, in post-processing. But without further ado, let me show you the outing and enjoy. Well, I'm westbound toward the ocean, heading to La Jolla, and what's drawing me out there, particularly today, is the tides. High tide is right around the same time as sunset, and the surf is reporting seven to eight foot waves. That's very unusual for San Diego. We usually don't get to surf that high. And uh, that's making me both excited and a little nervous. And the reason is the last time I had conditions like this, I lost a camera. At, uh, and I was well, well away from the ocean, you know, 20 plus feet above sea level uh, near cliffs, but the way the tides came in and hit them, I lost a camera. So we'll, we'll see how daring I get on this outing. But uh, sky-wise, there's quite a bit of cloud cover, so I, I really don't know what I'm going to be in for until I can start to see the horizon itself. Incidentally, someone asked me, how do I film this stuff while I'm driving? Hey, I am I you know, sacrificing safety? Absolutely not. Hands are on the wheel. I've got a camera mounted uh, to the dash with a suction cup, and uh, that's how I'm doing this. So I'll just turn the recorder on and uh, driving more or less like I normally would, other than talking kind of loudly to myself. Getting my first look at the horizon now. Yeah, there's a lot more cloud cover close to the ocean. Hints of things breaking at the horizon. They're kind of some of those, uh, you know, hallelujah rays cutting through the sky. And, uh, that's probably not going to last until sunset. I'm starting to wonder if I can trust the surf report. This is flat. It's definitely higher tide, but man, this is plenty of beach to work with. This is almost, it's almost borders on boring. The color in the sky is really nice right now though. This mid-afternoon might be the time. That. just too much, there's too much dead area out there. It's just, that's just not gonna hold, hold the scene well enough. All right, let's go back over here. This is gonna be a little more dangerous, but this may be what I have to do. I can get a nice, I can get a nice lead line from lower left to upper right. I won't have a killer dramatic sky, but I'll have, enough context to pull it all together. Let's try, let's try backing out a little bit and panning upward. And then I can get more sky. I can trim off the right hand edge. That'll work. That, that can work. That one right there looked pretty darn good. I'm just waiting for that right wave to get the foreground filled in. I'll take care of my foreground issues. The sky's already closing up. I'm at a, about 1 20th of a second right now. That's a little bit too fast for the type of drag I want in the water. So I'll add a filter in once I'm pretty happy with the composition, I have a couple of more tweaks to make, kind of playing back and forth with this retaining seawall that's up over here. I really don't want that as part of the shot. This one looks like it's gonna be a good wave to fill in the foreground. It may actually get me pretty wet. Let's see how we go. Oh, nice, nice. Let's see how that's looking. Okay, that'll look pretty good. That'll fill the frame pretty well. Mm. Need a little bit more in the foreground. And that's really what I'm doing right now. I fine tuned my composition a little bit. I'm waiting for the ocean to fill in this foreground here. The light's slowly just dimming. Uh, it's pleasant, 
It's not going to be uh, dramatic. There's not going to be a sun burst come through the clouds, uh, short of something that I just cannot see for several miles in either direction here. So we wait for the surf. That one sounds pretty good. Here we go, come on, there we are. That's nice. A little bit more, I need a little more whitewash on the rock here in the foreground. Oh, that's the one. Water's a little cold. I gotta time that better. I'm hitting it too early and it's filling in and too late, so now, now. Oh, those two I think are gonna be better. I delayed a little bit on that first one. All right, one more wave. Let's try to get this one. Here we go, that's gonna pop right over here. I gotta be careful of this one. Yeah. Mm. Nothing uh, tastier than salt spray. But one in the middle there, that came out really good. Well, there are definitely worse ways to spend a day.